Hi, this is David Rosales, pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley. This Sunday, I'll begin a study of the book of Revelation. As I was preparing the study, I began with an introduction. One of the things I point out is that the book of Revelation has always been called the book of consummation. It concludes God's plan of redemption and reveals his victory over his enemies. Someone might ask, what do you mean enemies? Are you saying God has enemies? Well, the short answer to that one is yes, God really does have enemies. His enemies are all who have not yielded their lives to him through faith in Jesus. Paul in Romans chapter 5, verse 10 said that before we came to faith in Jesus, we were actually God's enemies. And in Colossians chapter 1, verse 21, Paul said we were once alienated and enemies in our minds by wicked works. In Psalm 2, verses 1 through 6, the psalmist asked the question, why did the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds in pieces, cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. He shall speak to them in his wrath, distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. Why do the nations rage? The word rage speaks of banding together to conspire, to cause a commotion. It speaks of joining together with evil intent. Why do the nations join together to plot evil? They have set themselves with hostile intent and have made plans against God. They're plotting against God and against his anointed. This is something the church needs to remember. The church needs to remember that the battle is not against us, not, not against us, the church alone, that is. Jesus in John chapter 15, verse 18 said, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. It goes deeper than people hating us because we're so easy to hate. The world hates believers because we represent what the world rejects. The world rejects God's rule over them. What we see today is the world plotting to overthrow God, even as Satan did. They're saying, let us break their bonds in pieces. Let us rebel against his rule. Let us rebel against his laws. And this rebellion is inspired by Satan. In Isaiah chapter 14, verses 13 and 14, God told Satan, You have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Satan rejected God's rule and inspires others to do the same. The rebellion we see today is against God himself but the church is his visible representation. Today, we're seeing what rebellion against God and his anointed looks like. Anything that represents him is a target. In the first nine chapters of Genesis, God established three institutions, the church, marriage, and human government. All three are under massive and constant attack. Churches in California, Florida, Minnesota, New York, Kentucky, Texas, Tennessee, and Colorado have been attacked during recent violent protests, as many synagogues have also. The vandalism that is targeting churches is more than defacing property. It's a rejection of God, His authority, and symbols that remind them of this. Just last Sunday, August 30th, 2020, a statue of the Virgin Mary erected in front of Our Lady of Lebanon Church in Toronto was decapitated. Across Europe, there's been a growing rise in attacks on church buildings, including violent acts of desecration. Vandalism was carried out in 1,063 attacks on churches and Christian symbols. Many wonder when the Lord will move to deal with this kind of evil. In Revelation chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, John wrote, When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. They cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Well, the book of Revelation answers this question. How is this going to come to an end? We will receive the answer as we study Revelation. I look forward to spending time in God's Word as we together look at His perfect solution. If you can be with us, please do. We hold live Sunday services at 8.30 and 10.45 in the morning for those who can attend and online services for those who can't. I look forward to spending our time together in God's Word. This is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley.